Before we begin, I just want to remind you that you will get the best results if you are cleaning your instrument after every time you practice. Treat your instrument like a person. If you only took a shower once a year, pretty soon you'd be really stinky. Likewise, if you're only cleaning your instrument once a year, it's going to start sounding pretty stinky. Also, I hope most of you go to a doctor for a checkup every so often. Just like we need to get a checkup every once in a while to make sure everything is working okay, your instrument should go to a special instrument doctor every once in a while called a luthier. A luthier can check for cracks, open seams, and other wear and tear that can happen during normal use of the instrument. You may not even notice this damage occurring, which is why it's important to get your instrument a checkup every once in a while. A luthier will also be able to clean your instrument much more thoroughly than you will be able to from home. Always consult a luthier and get their advice on the best way to take care of your instrument. With all of that said, here's what you will need to clean your instrument. A couple of microfiber cloths, some vinegar, distilled water, and two spray bottles. You will need a couple of microfiber cloths. If you don't have microfiber cloths, you can use bits of an old t-shirt or any other scrap material you have lying around. The important thing is that you want whatever you use to be soft so it doesn't scratch the varnish. And obviously, you also want it to be clean so you don't dirty up your instrument as you try to clean it. Also, try to avoid any material with threaded loops or extra threads hanging off the end. You do not want these threads to be snagging on your instrument, which can be really hard to then get off. You will also need some vinegar. I like to use plain white vinegar. You will also need some distilled water. Please make sure that you use filtered or distilled water. We don't want the mineral deposits that can sometimes be found in regular water to build up on our instrument, which would defeat the point of cleaning it in the first place. Boiling the water won't remove all mineral deposits either, so please only use filtered or distilled water. Last but not least, two spray bottles are ideal, but if you don't have them available, you can just use any regular bottle. Start out by washing your hands. This is just smart. Do it often. First, you will need to use a microfiber cloth to wipe down your instrument. You should be doing this every day after you practice anyway, so hopefully there's not a lot of buildup. But if there is, now is your chance to wipe off the bigger dust patches. Concentrate especially on the strings, the fingerboard, and by the bridge, as that is where most of the rosin builds up. Be sure to get under the fingerboard and tailpiece, as these areas are often forgotten and build up dust and rosin easily. Also be sure to wipe down the wooden stick of your bow. Many people forget to wipe off their bow after they play and the rosin residue will start eating into the varnish. Wrap the stick in the microfiber cloth, being careful not to touch the bow hairs, and pass it up and down the stick a few times. Second, you will need to make a cleaning solution. There are a lot of cleaning solutions out there that are definitely more effective than this one. This is just a simple solution that you can make from home that will not be too abrasive on your instrument. I like to use equal parts distilled water and vinegar. The vinegar will help eat away the rest of the rosin residue on your strings, but it can also eat away the varnish, so do not get this solution on the wood of your instrument. I like to use the silver and black rule for when I use this cleaning solution. Only apply it to things on your instrument that are silver or black. Strings, fingerboard, tailpiece, and chin rest. If there are stubborn patches of rosin that just won't clean up, you can use a little bit of denatured alcohol to get those out. But again, if you decide to use denatured alcohol, do not get it on the varnish. Okay, we're clear on that. Cool. Apply a small amount of the cleaning solution to a different microfiber cloth. The first microfiber cloth probably still has rosin residue on it from when you wiped down your instrument in the first place, so we are using a new one for this step because we do not want to make that one wet and sticky. Always apply any cleaning solution first to a cloth, never apply it directly to your instrument. Use this cloth to wipe the rest of the rosin from your strings, also use it to wipe away the oil and dirt buildup from your fingerboard and chin rest. Did you know that we humans shed about one and a half pounds of dead skin every year? Yeah, that's gross, and a lot of it gets on your instrument. So clean it off already! Again though, do not get the solution on the wood of your instrument. It can eat your dead skin cells, but it will also eat your varnish, so be careful. Third, you will need to clean the body of your instrument with distilled water. Keep in mind that water and wood do not mix, so be very sparing about the amount of water you use. Always spray onto the cloth and never directly onto your instrument. I know this seems like a duh thing to do, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Also, if your cloth is dripping wet, you have way too much water on there. 
Use a different microfiber cloth for the water, or if you're using your previous microfiber cloth, make sure it is thoroughly cleaned and dried after having the vinegar solution on it. We don't want any vinegar cleaning solution eating away the varnish of our instrument. Carefully wipe away the rest of the dirt and fingerprints from the body of your instrument. Fourth, you will need to polish the instrument. Take your last clean, dry microfiber cloth and carefully wipe the entire instrument. Be sure to get under the fingerboard and the tailpiece. A lot of dust builds up under the fingerboard and tailpiece because these are usually the most neglected areas of the instrument, so just be sure to pay special attention to those areas. Even though I call this step polishing your instrument, please don't use any wood or furniture polish for this step. I don't know if you can tell at this point, but pretty much anything touching the wood of your instrument that is not your hands or a microfiber cloth can be very damaging to it. Even the dirt and oils from your hands will eventually damage the wood, which is why it is very important to wipe it down and clean it regularly. Also, wash your hands regularly. Just do it. And now your instrument is clean and beautiful again. Like I said before, you should always see a luthier for a true deep clean. However, wiping down your instrument every time you play and doing an occasional home deep clean can help your strings last longer and keep your instrument in good condition. Don't let your instrument be stinky anymore. Keep it clean and healthy. Until next time, happy practicing.